Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. For the past 20 years or so, there hasn't been a ton of innovation in the box macaroni and cheese game. There's a new player in town though, Cheetos. So we're going to go ahead and test all these options and see if they've crafted your new favorite mac and cheese. <laughs> Now, there are three flavors from the Cheetos mac and cheese line. The first one, and let's see if I can get these right on the first try, are the regular mac and cheese, which they're calling bold and cheesy. Then there is the cheesy jalapeno, two for two, and the, I'm going to go flaming hot. Oh, it's almost like I looked at these before. So what we're going to do is we're going to make each of these, and I'm going to go the added step of crushing up some actual Cheetos of each of the flavors that correspond to these and sprinkling them on top. And then we're going to give them a taste test and see if they pan out. Now I wanted to give you a close up of the boxes. So bold and cheesy, this is again the plain cheese, cheesy jalapeno, and flaming hot. As you can see they have subtle differences in their calories, sodium, everything like that. And again the process for making it, as you can see, very similar to a more traditional like uh, Kraft or store brand macaroni and cheese. And the microwave directions, very basic, as you can see. And they even suggest, so now that I've shown this to you, I can't claim to have come up with this idea on my own. It wasn't really well planned, but. Oh, see, they messed up. They didn't even go for the cheddar jalapeno on their own box. Cheetos marketing dropped the ball. So, okay. Let's get started. So, before we get cooking, we're going to assemble the ingredients. Start off with two tablespoons of butter, which is roughly a quarter of a stick or half of a half, if you math junkies out there. And we're going to need a quarter of a cup of milk and also six cups of water to boil the noodles in. And now that we got the water boiling, we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And like most boxes, the glue is tougher than the actual cardboard, so it's going to come apart in pieces. This is the secret seasoning. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it helps a little bit if I hold it still. So I'll set that aside and the noodles themselves, as you can tell on the box, are spiral shaped. So we're going to go ahead and before we even put the noodles in, I'm going to do something that I almost always do when I'm making any kind of pasta. Go ahead and salt the water a little bit. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And get that in there, give it a second. And then dump in the noodles. And as soon as you dump them in, you want to stir them just because once they hit that water, they're going to want to clump together. And the temperature will drop because the noodles are cold. Now, you're going to want to boil these for about seven minutes according to the instructions. Um, most of you know how long it takes to cook pasta when it's done. Depending on the temperature of your water and everything, that seven minutes is going to vary a little bit, but you know when it's done. Again, um, pro tip, for your cooking pot, get one that has some drain holes to it so that you can just put this lid in and pour that water into your sink, leaving the noodles right in there. Saves you an extra step of having to strain it with a you know, strainer and then put it back in the pot where it was going to end up anyways. Because you're going to want a chance to melt that butter, mix in the milk and the uh, secret seasoning. And uh, if it's all going back in there anyways, it saves you a couple steps if it never leaves. And once the noodles are cooked and drained of water, we're going to go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients, starting off with the two tablespoons of butter. So we'll go ahead and unwrap this, if I can. Grab a butter knife, and again, you're going to see these graduations here. Take that one off, pop that in, and the second tablespoon, and set this aside. 
and then grab your quarter cup and I'm gonna pour that right in there carefully like that add that to the pot and finally we add the rather unfortunately named Chester's Secret Seasoning to the pot. And they don't want you to open it. So I'm going to grab some scissors. Top off that. And as you can see, it looks very much like Cheetos orange. So we're going to move this spoon rest here out of the way. Put this butter down at the bottom. Let that melt a little bit while I stir. And incorporate everything. The first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is that this smells so much like Cheetos. Now, you would think that would be very obvious, but it has a distinct scent as opposed to you know, a craft or a store brand cheese. So they really nailed the, the cheese powder that they added to this, as well as the color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of the macaroni and cheese next, the other flavors, and I'm going to put them each in individual bowls and then I'm going to go ahead and grind up the Cheetos and show you how it all comes together. And these are the three flavors. Flaming Hot, Bold and Cheesy, Cheesy Jalapeno. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and take this grinder here and grind up each of the varieties of Cheetos that correspond to each one and top them. And then we're going to have a taste test. Now, I'm going to mute this to save everybody's ears, so there's nothing wrong with your computer or your phone or whatever. Just a heads up. Take that out, release this canister, and then, again, you're not going to want to go overboard with this, but there you go. Now I'll go ahead and do the other two, and uh, we'll have our taste test. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to start off with the bold and cheesy. Get a little bit of the ground up Cheetos on top, not a ton. It's good. It's going to be your preference whether or not you want to grind up Cheetos and put them on top. But I'm going to try and get a bite without them. Just for context. It's very good. It's uh, definitely on the cheesier scale, which is a good thing. Um, I'm assuming if you're buying Cheetos, mac and cheese, you like cheese. So uh, we're going to go ahead and set that one aside. It's very cheesy. Uh, it's a perfectly good high-end mac and cheese. And now we go with the jalapeno cheesy. This one has a very, it's almost tangy, the, the scent on it. It's funny how the ground up Cheetos flavors match these so closely. I mean, I know they're probably using the same flavor powder, so it shouldn't be that surprising, but even once it's cooked and made, it, uh, it definitely matches up very well. Hmm. I like jalapeno flavor. 
and that has a nice subtle jalapeno without the jalapenos being overpowering and the flaming hot this is not going to help the fact that it's very warm in here already as you can probably see <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I was like, this doesn't feel very hot. And then after a second, it kicks in. So, hmm. I never had Flamin' Hot Cheetos before, but it's definitely warm. And the flavor definitely matches the crumbled up Cheetos. So, that's pretty much it. That's the. Uh, range of the new Cheetos macaroni and cheese flavors and you should definitely check them out uh, it's very cool that they went with the three primary flavors uh, for the Cheetos snacks now I picked these up at Walmart you can pick them up at any of your local grocery stores I'm sure I'm not sure who carries them who doesn't but I know Walmart does uh, they're definitely worth a shot and I would have to say like I'm always a big fan of the classic cheese but also this jalapeno cheese has probably my favorite uh, flavor to it. And the Flamin' Hot, if you like Flamin' Hot Cheetos, definitely hit that up because that has the uh, exact same flavor as the Cheetos on top. And that's pretty much all there is. We've cooked, we've tasted, there's only three things left to do. For me to say thank you for watching, as always. For me to remind you to like, and if you like what you're watching, to subscribe so that you get notifications. Go ahead and ring that bell as well for more of my videos. And the third is to go ahead and kick it over and watch some of that sexy B-roll footage that we call food porn.